It's time for the Longines Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour, brought to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. A presentation of the Longines Whitnor Watch Company, maker of Longines, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world honored Longines. Good evening, this is Frank Knight. May I introduce our co-editors for this edition of the Longines Chronoscope. Larry Lasseur from the CBS television news staff and Francis W. Carpenter of the Associated Press. Our distinguished guest for this evening is the Honorable Richard G. Casey, Foreign Minister of Australia. Our guest tonight is generally regarded as one of the top diplomats of the Western world. He was the first minister to Washington and during World War II he was a member of the British War Cabinet under Churchill. And in recent years, he's conducted the foreign policy of Australia, the key power in the Pacific. Mr. Casey, you helped negotiate the recent Manila Pact. Uh, now, is that a scrap of paper, or uh, does it have any real and effective meaning? Well, Mr. So, so every treaty starts by being a scrap of paper. But we hope and believe, in fact, we're convinced that the Manila Treaty has got to have life breathed into it in the next six months. Uh, we're quite certain that's going to happen and that it's going to be a most effective means of um, uh, restoring uh, some sort of reasonable uh, conditions in Southeast Asia. We believe it's the most valuable thing and we are extremely grateful, we people in Australia, for the initiative the United States has shown uh, in uh, starting all this business off. Well, Mr. Casey, uh, how is it the guns are booming now in the uh, against Kimoi in the Straits of Formosa, and uh, nothing seems to be happening. 